It is of great interest that the country, the United States of America, with one of the worst human rights records globally, especially when it comes to prisoners, has been able to sugarcoat and present itself as the world's leader and defender of human rights. Well, let's weed through the glaze coating and look at the reality of human rights, American style, and the bitter reality. The United States has a population of 313 million people, which is 4.4 percent of the world's population. However, 25 percent of the prisoners in the world are incarcerated in the United States. It means that a country like China, which has a population of over a billion people, more than four times the number of Americans, has less people in prison than the stars and stripes. This means for every four prisoners in the world, one of them is locked up in a prison in the United States. Solitary confinement is acknowledged internationally as being torture. The United Nations Special Rapporteur on Torture reports that solitary confinement beyond 15 days at a stretch crosses the line of torture. However, it is normal for hundreds of thousands of American prisoners to spend between 30 to 60 days at a time in solitary confinement. There are 20,000 people who are held in continuous solitary confinement in the United States. And reports say that on any given day in the U.S., there are around 80,000 prisoners being held in solitary confinement. Imagine what it is like being in perpetual solitary confinement where you have no contact with anyone at any time. That's the reality of the way Washington treats its own. Where is the outcry? And currently, there are 166 prisoners at Guantanamo Bay who have been rounded up and taken illegally to that facility. 86 have been approved to be released, but are still being held. None have really been tried in more than 10 years of being incarcerated. Torture is the norm, and even today, prisoners who go on hunger strike at Guantanamo are force-fed through a painful process at least a couple of times a day. They are subjected to strip searches and have been tortured at the prison. From the beginning, when the prisoners were captured illegally and flown or shipped to Guantanamo, where they're being held, human rights have been ignored. Torture has been the norm, and most of the world has been quiet as the United States continues to do whatever it wants to its own people and others. The question for many would be, how can a state with such an abysmal record dare point the finger at any other country while wrapping itself in the blanket of being a human rights advocate? How could any entity be so hypocritical? The only answer to this is arrogance. Washington thinks that it can do anything it wants, anywhere it wants, to anyone it wants, because it has brute military strength to back it, and the perspective of exceptionalism. Washington thinks that it has the brute strength to back its oppressive policies and continue to print the dollars to fund these oppressive policies. Unfortunately, in today's world, it is this brute force which defines who are the offenders of human rights and who are not. What a mixed-up world we live in. But it is only a matter of time that the truth will be known. Washington should always remember that those who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones because sooner or later these lies will come back to haunt them.